Tonight, it's the National Football League. It's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. see Joe Burrow and the Cincinnati Bengals taking on Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills. From the banks of the Ohio River, there's a look at what's now known as Paycor Stadium here in Cincinnati. Tonight, we've got the crew set for what should be a real treat, a great Monday night matchup between the Buffalo Bills and the Cincinnati Bengals. to go Evan McPherson to do the honors and we are underway from Cincinnati fields it right around the goal line and the tackle going to be made right there at the 25 yard line the Buffalo offense coming out and it is Josh Allen who is at the helm I remember when he came out of Wyoming the big question mark could he be accurate enough to be a star in the NFL? I think it's safe to say he's put all of us in our place and put those doubts to rest. He can roll out and run it. He can bomb it over your heads. Everything in between is an absolute nightmare for defenses to try and prepare for. And when he's on, he's an MVP caliber player each and every time he takes the field. On first down, they'll start out with Singletary. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game. Trying to establish the inside run. Run with toughness now. Hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Right back to Singletary on second down. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. And no more. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. This defense looking for an early stop. This is third down and six. Now Allen. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's McKenzie. And he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. Five yards, and that means they come up short as they're going to have to punt here on the opening drive. Well, it looks like they got what they wanted. They got the completion, but they weren't able to break any tackles or gain nearly enough yardage to pick up the first down. Now to be fourth and short. Here's the punter, Martin, now to kick it away. punt a return of five and the Bengals will take over here first and ten here come the Bengals and CD of course it's Joe Burrow out of LSU at quarterback and when you come into the league as the number one guy selected a lot of hype comes with it sometimes that weight can be unbearable but this young man he took that weight on and handled it as well as you can imagine and I love his ability to make a second third reaction play and create downfield They're coming out with a jumbo package to start the drive. Now it's Burrow. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. 
So just three yards on the completion there, and it'll be second down. Yeah, that one was covered pretty well because they were trying to leak the tight end out into the flat. I think they were hoping he could catch and turn up field and pick up the first down. From the 30 on second down, Burrow to the right side and complete to Hurst. And he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. It'll be a gain of five. And now two yards to go on third down. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days. But you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target. And that's how he'll shred a defense. Well, they kept it simple there, CD, only needing the short gain to move the chain. So they didn't want to go with a deep throw. They just go with that safer, shorter throw and able to convert. Nothing wrong with that at all, partner. Check the box, right? Make sure you pick up the first down. Offense is getting established. You're moving the ball. You're not turning it over. Check, check, check. They like what they're doing early in the game. And he'll be taken down at about the 45. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out. And they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. And the catch made. It's Tyler Boyd. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. Really a solid start here on the opening drive, Charles. He's now 4-4, and they're already in plus territory. Brandon, he's been so precise to start this game. Like we're watching an operation taking place right now. Master Surgeon at work. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory, right at the 40. Burrow going to give this to Mixon. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive, and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally, because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback, makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. From the 38, Burrow. Oh, leaping, and he makes the grab. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills' 24-yard line. The Bengals passing game finding a rhythm. They've got another first. I don't care who you put on him, he's going to be a handful in one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man, -man, maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. Mixon with a first down carry. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two. And it brings up second down. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Four yards on the pickup there as it'll leave him with a third and about four more for a first. No score after one on EA Sports. An extra defensive back here for the Bills on third down. They're passing here, Joe Burrow. And that is incomplete. The Buffalo defense does its job, and it's fourth down. I think that's a good job there defensively. They did allow them to drive all the way downfield, but once they got their backs to the goal line, they really turned up the pressure. Yeah, they let them get all the way down here. Now the field shrinks. They've struggled to convert, and that last incompletion brings up fourth. McPherson's kick is good, and the Bengals are on the board first here. It's 3 nothing. So 
so they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks will tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. So after the made field goal, here's McPherson to send this one away. McKenzie will not return this, and it will be brought out to the 25. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. This one a little slow to get cooking, just a 3-0 scoreline as they begin with a first and 10. Terry to get the drive started. Yeah, he tries to keep the legs churning, but he's going to be stopped behind the line. Yeah, another negative play in an early down situation. This one to start the drive. You're putting a lot of pressure on your quarterback to bail you out when you're in second and long yardage. Backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. From the gun, it's Allen. He's got it complete to Stephon Diggs. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. 27 yards there, a first down. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. From midfield, here's Allen. That's caught by Gabriel Davis. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. Well, they obviously read man covers their partner, and he got downfield, broke down the defender, made him what think. What do you mean by that? Bro yeah, he made him think he was going to run a different route, probably thought he was going to take it upfield, and then he curls back inside for the completion. 57 on, 57 on. on first down, Allen. There's Stephon Diggs for the catch on the slant. And he'll be brought down at about the 23-yard line. Seems as if the passing attack starting to heat up a little bit here in the second quarter. You can sense and you can see the momentum because now they're reading their patterns downfield, they're understanding the coverages, and they're finding the open holes in the defense. Play fake to Singletary, and now it's Allen. And it's out. He put it on the carpet. Well, we know he's got the speed to get downfield, Charles, but there's the negative side. A little loose with the football that time. And that's normal, especially when you have his type of talents because you feel like you're into the open field and maybe you don't feel the people who are around you or closing in. All quarterbacks have to do extra ball security drills with the way the game's played now because defenses, they attack the football as much as they attack the runner. First down. This is caught. It's Boyd. And they work this well upfield across the 45. 
Getting it to him in space pays off big time. That winds up going for 31. That is the exact right play call against that defense. So a hat tip to the offensive play caller because he won that part of the chess match. But give credit to his players as well. They won the execution part of it. Big play has him all the way out near midfield for a first and ten. Now it's Mixon running right. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Nine yards on the run there, and it will take us to the two-minute warning. From the 44, Burrow. And he will find his man Chase complete. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills' 25-yard line. The Bengals' passing game finding a rhythm. They've got another first. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time you wait for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. Eluding the pressure right. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. No one there to help out downfield, but no problem. Scrambling for 22 and a first. This guy's proven himself to be one of the best in the NFL. He brings an added dimension to their offense with his ability to read defenses and know when he's able to pull it down and take off and go. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. To Mixon on the check down. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with exactly a minute to go before halftime. Second and goal. Burrow. Touchdown! Joe Mixon from four yards out. And the Bengals will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. And that's certainly an important score right there because they gave themselves a two-score cushion heading towards halftime. Now you got to force the other team out of their comfort zone, and it changes the way you approach the second half as well. How you want to do things on offense, and your defense feels much better too, having that lead. Evan McPherson now for the PAT. It's up and good, and that'll increase their lead to 10 zip. A drive that time of six plays, and it ends with a Bengals score. Touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. McKenzie will not return this, and it will be brought out to the 25. The Bills going to take over now late in this first half. 
But Charles, you're down multiple scores, less than a minute left here. But with that deficit, they've got to try to at least work their way into field goal range to try to muster something out of this drive. And I'm going to go ahead and date myself one more time because I'm going to quote an old Smokey and the Bandit lyric. They've got a long way to go and a short time to get there, but they still have time to get it done. So I'm looking forward to watching them mount this drive and see if they can get some points out of it. Allen now on first down. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far, but on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. So the incompletion, and now it's second and 10, again from the 25-yard line. Allen going to throw. He's got the connection over the middle to Diggs. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. First and ten here, and you know, if they could just get three out of this, something about whittling it to a one-score game at half that might provide a psychological boost. Setting up the screen for Cook, and he'll go out of bounds, it appears, right at the 45. A good pick up there on first as the screen pass gets him eight. And good yardage there on first down, because sometimes all you need to do on the screen is get one key block. That might set your man free, and that was pretty good pursuit to the football defensively, or it could have gone for more. Second and two. To the air, Allen. Caught right side, Davis. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. He's got a man complete. And he's out of bounds, almost gets to the 10. An excellent gain, 35 yards. We always talk about the guy who paid off the play, don't we? The guy who caught it or ran it. But how about the elements that go into making a big play? This one in particular, able to scan the field, pocket held up nicely, what a terrific job by the offensive line. The route, well run, and the football, right on the money. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. So the shotgun snap to Allen. He'll find Diggs once more on the completion. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it's second down. The Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. Second and three with the ball sitting on the five. Throwing now is Allen. Steps away to his left. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them, and I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. Allen going to try and throw on third down. Touchdown, Bills! Gabriel Davis in the final seconds of the first half. And the Bills are able to cut into this lead in the final seconds of the first half. 
The way this one was going, you just got the sense they needed something before half. They've at least got something on the board now. Still trailing, but a good sign. That takes me back to our preseason tour of NFL camps. You remember we, we talked with that one coach who said his emphasis this year was scoring in the last two minutes yep. of a half, heading into the locker room. This hits it right there. Take that momentum, take that good feeling, and take it to the locker room, regroup, and start over. They got it here. They did indeed. And a lot of football, full half to be played. An extra point by Bass, up and good. And that'll cut it to three at 10-7. So just eight ticks remaining here in the first half as they'll kick this one away. Taking it about the one. And it takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. So time perhaps for one final kneel down before they take this lead to the locker room. And with time running down, they go down to a knee. So we've reached halftime here in the Queen City, and it's the Bengals leading this one. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports Halftime Report. This one's been as good as advertised. Just a field goal separating these two teams as they've already made their way back out of the locker room. So to bring you the story of the second half, let's get you right back out to Brandon Godden. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. set to receive they have the lead and the football to begin quarter number three from a yard or two deep here comes a return and ultimately cannot get this out to the 25 yard line as he's dropped at the 23 and a Bengal offense ready to go here to start the third quarter and both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively just not able to get anything going so what needs to change I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to, how did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back to some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Burrow going to fake to mix it and now look to throw. He'll find his running back, Joe Mixon. A very good move, but for a relatively modest gain out near the 32. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. I think the best offenses love to get the ball to their running backs in open space because they have the ability to make people miss, and they also have the ability to run over people. And if you do that throughout the game, after a while, they might just run through some of those tackles and go a long way. Well, we saw him shed a nice tackle on that play. 
They give to Mixon to try to pick it up. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. It goes as a gain of nine and it moves the chains. On third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. Open man is Chase complete. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz game and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle, it doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Off the play fake, here's Burrow. Another one into the hands of Jamar Chase. And he'll be brought down at about the 23-yard line. He's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. down here's Burrow and the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground to give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football we're in the second half that's just his second incompletion well if he's that locked in that means everyone's locked in because to me it's like throwing a no hitter in baseball the pitcher may get the credit a lot of people making plays behind him in the field <laughs> on second down here's Mixon and he's got four down inside the 20 to the 18. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get him into a manageable third down because they had the incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. So it's third and six, and this will be the eighth play of the drive. Burrow looking to pass. Flushed out right. And a quick shuffle pass here is complete. And this will not be enough. On third and five, he only gets three. He was out there waving his arms. And when you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is because you got to get his attention because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. And he is not going anywhere. They stop him for no gain. Denied on fourth down is Joe Mixon. And the Bills are going to get the football back. And you wonder, Charles, could that decision come back to haunt them later? And it really could because in this situation, you kick the field goal in a tight game like this, that's a good play. Yeah. But maybe what he's saying to himself is, I'm just not a big proponent of the old idea that any possession that ends in a kick, I'm happy with. He wanted to be really aggressive. A little twist here in the third quarter. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 16. the play fake Allen they'll get him to the ground at the 20 following a pickup of four oh 
partner just a second earlier, and they might have had him because they certainly thought they were going to close in and drop him behind the line of scrimmage, but he had just enough time to dodge the pressure, and he ends up getting yardage before being stopped. The ball resting on the 20. Here's second and six. To throw, it's Allen. That's caught by his tight end, Dawson Knox. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. Allen and Knox teaming up there for Buffalo first down. And he's the epitome of what we call the move tight end. A guy that you can line up anywhere. In the slot, out wide, in tight. Doesn't really matter because he has such great skills. You want to utilize him in all aspects of your passing offense. And there he was in the slot for the catch. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. On play action, Allen. And this one is incomplete. This defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield. And look, it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone, eventually that becomes man on man. And you've got to trust yourself and go up at that moment of truth and make a play on the football. Third quarter on a Monday night with a second and 10 coming up. Here's Allen to throw it. Over the middle complete. It's McKenzie. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. One quarter remains here as we wrap up the week on a Monday night. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. Allen going to give this one to Singletary. And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that gain. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. If they get a game-changing score on this drive, it's going to be because of plays like that. That run was pure heart. Took it himself, found a way to reset the downs, and advance the ball. down and they're going to throw with Allen. It's complete to Diggs. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. But Charles, they're trying to protect this lead late. Those are the types of mistakes they could afford to go without. But the last thing you want to give them is help in completing a comeback, which is exactly what that penalty does. So a big penalty there on the face mask leads to first and 10. Singletary, they'll go up the middle. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. I don't know what this says about me, but I love successful runs up the middle when the blocking is so well executed like that. And it doesn't matter whether it's zone blocking, whether it's a power scheme, when you have a blocker on a defender and then the running back can read it, find the proper hole and just go, sometimes a thing of beauty. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. 
They run here with Singletary. He'll get two out of that run, and it's going to bring up a second and goal. The yards may start getting a little tougher to come by down here near the goal line. That's good work defensively there on first down, holding them to a short gain. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. Allen now looks to throw. And that's a touchdown, but hold on. There is a flag down on the field. We'll have to see what this is about. Late game, that hurts. Take the touchdown off the board. No doubt about it, and this is where you make a great movie scene, right? Go in, rally the team. Okay, we lost points there. Let's get it back and go out and score again. Can he get it done? A crucial penalty there as the hold backs him up for another second and goal. Here's Allen. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. A big chunk of real estate covered on the scramble, but it will be third and goal. Partner was a definite passing down, but he was able to leak out and pick up some good yardage, even though the coverage was excellent. Maybe it's not exactly how they drew it up, but he still got a big chunk of yardage on second down. Allen now on third and goal. And this is caught for a yeah, Bills yeah, touchdown. Isaiah McKenzie from three yards out. And the Bills have moved out in front here in the fourth quarter. An out route there for the score, a quick out route there for the score. Yeah, you're not really surveying the defense on this one. You're just counting on timing, making this play happen. One, two, balls out of his hands, knows where he's going, just puts it to the outside. Touchdown. Bass on for the extra point. And that makes it 14-10. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it culminates in a Bills touchdown. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. This taken in at the goal line. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Make it happen. So Burrow and the Bengals down 14-10. Just over two minutes to go. They'll have one play here just north of the two-minute warning. down with Burrow and that is incomplete oh, the coverage a little too good there and it's second down so the Bengals in possession of the football here as we get your reset they come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down to the wire here we go. so now they'll come up on second and ten once again from the 28 Burrow will throw and that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, now third and ten. And first things first, before you think about marching the ball down the field, you got to move the chains. You're exactly right. Got to get back into focus here. Get the first down. That's what's vital to them. Go, so back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. 
Here's Burrow. That's complete to Chase. And he's going to have a Bengals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there. And now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Now Burrow. Complete to Boyd. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. They're making steady progress, but I see your face. You're worried about that clock. I'm worried about the clock, and at some point, you have to have a splash play in there as well. Now the Bengals urging everybody to get back to the line of scrimmage to throw Burrow. And that's caught one more time by Boyd. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. Nice, well coached, a team that understands what's going on. They still have time to work the middle of the field as they just did there. First down now, but that clock rolling. Burrow. Dancing to his left. Oh no, he lost the football. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. Chase on the right side complete. And he'll be brought down at about the 23-yard line. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop him with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. one in but it's incomplete now we're in the situation where the quarterback's got to take full charge of his huddle got to totally command and make sure all eyes are on him all focus is locked in gonna call multiple plays and go over different situations and scenarios to make sure everyone is on the same page they'll break the huddle and come up on the ninth play of this drive needing five yards on third down this goes out wide for Nixon and he is going to have a Bengals first down by about a yard as they find a way to convert there on third down and five. going to signal for their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 18 seconds remaining. Here we go, here we go. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown, and that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. Now it's Burrow. And he's across for the touchdown, and it's likely the game winner here in the closing stages. CD, that was an all-or-nothing drive to win this football game, and they rose to the occasion to take the lead here in the waning moments. And how about how they got it done? No timeouts left. They take it downfield, execute perfectly, and get it done. Now they don't leave their opponent with a heck of a lot of time on the clock. Now an important extra point here to stretch this lead to a field goal. He's got it, and this is indeed up to a three-point lead. So that one along 11-play drive. 
And it's capped off by the late touchdown that puts him out in front here in the final minute of the contest. Touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. This will be fielded inside the five. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. come to the line to start their next drive. So remember, Charles, last time they were out here, they scored, but they just saw the opposition score, and they're trailing right now, so they're trying to keep pace here. They need a touchdown drive. Well, if you're a fan of offense, you're loving this, but if you're a fan of defense, this is tough to watch, and it's also tough to keep that up when you just watch your opponent march down the field on a scoring drive that lasts into double-digit snaps. You need a score here not just to follow the momentum from your last drive, but put the onus back on your opponent. And that's what they're doing right now, swapping that onus back and forth. Allen. And he's going to lose a yard or two, taken down behind the line. A costly sack. They'll have to use a timeout here. And barring a defensive penalty, they'll be looking at one final play. One final shot, they'll look to throw. Close ball game comes to an end. On that last play, Charles, they were on the wrong side of midfield. They needed something near a miracle, and they couldn't get it done. Yeah, the effort, that was good. Very good, in fact. They were just a little too far out to get a decent look at the end zone for that last opportunity. Couldn't get it done, but a nice game overall. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. It's a win for the Bengals as we say so long from Cincinnati.